Hello and welcome. Carrie here from Healing Humanity and the world famous Montello Theater. I am excited for our live stream we have tonight. Uh, I have a lot of stories. That's why we're doing this documentary, Healing Humanity. So many documented stories from individuals. Uh, we just went out and filmed Dr. Ken Berry. I just got back a couple days ago. That was incredible. Uh, filmed quite a few individual stories, Bill Knott, Jeff DeProsperous, Maggie, others that we've talked to on live streams. I get so many comments and stories from people. They leave them as YouTube comments. They email me, Facebook, direct message, Instagram. Uh, I love hearing these stories of transformation. I can never get enough of them. And I think they're inspiring for other people out there. So I wanted to spend this time for this live stream sharing some incredible transformative stories and comments from individuals, some pictures as well. And I was hoping uh, everyone, there's people still jumping on right now, joining here in the chat. Put it down in the comment. Give us your story, your transformation on the proper human diet. What happened for you, whether if that's weight loss or uh, mental health improvement. Maybe you overcame IBS. Uh, looks like we got some people jumping on real quick. So to, to kick this off, uh, well, first shout out Healing Humanity, Power of a Proper Human Diet. Um, I'm going to share, I'll share mine quick. A lot of people have already heard mine, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but while people still jump on, it's kind of funny. This video was from four years ago. Uh, so you can kind of see the before and after. Everyone's always interested in the weight loss. Of course, I'm down a hundred pounds since my heaviest. I lost most of that on carnivore. I lost some of it on keto, yo-yoing for years and years. All of it I lost on a proper human diet. But this this quick little video here. So that was uh that was from that was from a video I recently did. We made uh, carnivore brats. It was pretty fun. Uh but that shot was four years ago, and it's one of the cool things with having a YouTube channel is you can go back and forth. I get so many comments from people that say, I watched your YouTube video a couple of years ago. You weren't that big. And I always tell them, just look like four months later or four months before because my weight went up and down and up and down. I, I think I have the world record for the most weight lost and then regained and then lost and then regained again. That is one of the saddest things in the world. And that's one of the reasons people get mad at me sometimes when I'm like, I'm on day. Well, let me look here real quick. Post in the post in the bottom if you could in the chat. Number one, your carnivore or proper human diet or keto story of transformation. Share it with the group. Uh, I see a couple popping in here right now. And number two, how many days have you been on the proper human diet? Today for me is day 327. I'm I'm coming up on a year here pretty soon. 327 days. Uh, I have, I have been, I haven't had any sugar. I haven't had a berry. I haven't had one cheat day. I'm not saying that to shame anyone. Uh, I'm shaming myself. When I did keto for years, I would have cheat days and I, my weight would go up and down, up and down for years and years. So I, I haven't had any cheat days on carnivore. People get mad sometimes when I say that, oh, Mr. Perfect. But the reason I say that is because this clip I just showed you here. Let me let me let me pop back in here. This right here. See how big I was right there? If you look a couple months earlier, I was uh probably 60 pounds lighter than that. I remember Jen and I had our picture taken once. We were on vacation, and I remember so clearly with that picture taken. I am never gaining this weight back. It was so hard for me to lose it on the ketogenic diet, having cheese and doing cheat days and having salad. And I was still inflamed and my depression would come and go. And I, I still had all of those issues. It was the hardest weight to lose. And I told myself, I'm never going to gain it back again. Well, that was a couple months before what you see there on the screen. Uh, as my girls uh, call me, there's fatty McButter pants. That's the fatty version of myself. And even after this, this was four years ago, I lost more weight and then I gained it back. I lost more and I gained it back. So I, there's nothing more disappointing in life than going through that huge struggle, losing all of that weight only to gain it back. So for that reason, I have learned 
I'm not a moderator. I have learned I'm not going to just lose the weight and then go back and eat some fruits and vegetables and some berries that inevitably lead to eating more sugar and junk food and processed garbage. And then I gain all the weight back. I am a carnivore for life. 327 days in. I know without a doubt, I'm not going back to what you see there uh, on the screen. Uh, leave me some comments below. Anyone here doing the yo-yo? I've done this before because it is just, I, I, I think it's because I have that picture, but Jen and I were looking at that picture. We were just like, we both vividly remember losing all that weight, how hard it was, never gaining it back, no matter what I'm going to do. And it was literally four months later, gained it all back. And then even more beyond that. So sad, so depressing. Uh, never going to happen again though. So awesome, man. I'm seeing some comments come through with some of the stories, some of the transformation. So I've got a couple here to share. Let me see. Okay. Here's my next one. Uh, while we're warming up here, I've got a bunch of stories that people sent me that I want to share. I want to share your stories in the comments, but w the story wouldn't be complete without the man, the myth, the legend himself, Dante Ferrigno. You could see his sort of transformation before and after there. He's the reason I started Carnivore. Um, well, he's the reason I investigated more and then I still thought he was crazy. And then I watched Dr. Barry video after Dr. Barry video. And then I started but he was the first one that turned me on to carnivore. He said, I'm eating only meat. And I'm like, there's no way that's sustainable. It sounds good on paper because I'd done keto before, but there's no way that this is going to last. It's kind of interesting. This picture right here, that's actually a video I did with Dante, carnivore for 900 days. You can see his before and after, just an incredible transformation. You know, it's human nature. I do it too. We're visual, right? So you can see the weight loss and that's so incredible. But I think Dante would tell you, I know I would tell you of my story, the weight loss is great. All of the other things are way better. I would take my hundred pounds back in a second. Um, the depression, anxiety that I've overcome on the proper human diet is the most incredible thing. The next thing is the sleep, then getting rid of the IBS and the horrible, painful arthritis I had in my foot and my back and my elbows. There's so many, so many other benefits to it, but uh, I wanted to show Dante's because what an incredible story. That video I did with him was on day 900. He did, and that was 900 days of Dante doing the lion diet. If you guys aren't watching Dante Frigno, you're missing out. I, I learned about carnivore from him. I still watch all of his videos all the time. I just caught one yesterday. I think he did with one of his sons sprinting. He's got a great channel. He's an awesome individual. I can't wait to get down to Florida to film him for the documentary. Uh, he, he's just incredible. So shout out Dante. Let's see. I got a couple of these. This is my friend, Ryan Murphy. We had him on the 24 hour live stream, lost a hundred pounds eating only meat. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Ryan, his channel is against the grain. Let's look at this transformation, man. You, look at the face. It, it's very, uh, hits home for me because that's kind of the shape my face was prior to me losing the hundred pounds since my heaviest, uh, Pretty, pretty darn similar, but he's he's actually taller uh, than I am as well. But Ryan is awesome. Got a great channel, Against the Grain. This was his carnivore diet transformation. How I lost 100 pounds in seven months video. He popped on for the 24-hour live stream. And then later we did another uh, video together. He's got just a great story. So I'm going to share some more of these. Uh, I love seeing the transformations, the before and afters, but please post yours in the sidebar. I want to read your stories as well. And I have a whole bunch of them from individuals. This next one I got is Joe Rogan. Uh, he did the carnivore diet. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this one, but this was day 30 on the right. You could see he did some weight loss challenge where he took his shirt off and his audience was making fun of him and saying he gained a bunch of weight. So he did carnivore for 30 days. After that, he stopped for a while and then he's been on and off it. He announced, I'm doing carnivore again. And uh, it seems like he goes on and off it, but he definitely sees the benefits of it. I'm going to be down in KetoCon, Austin, and we're hoping to go to Joe Rogan's Comedy Club. And we're hoping to bring Dr. Baker. And man, if we could meet Joe, that would be amazing. That, that's the, the dream scenario. I'm going to put it out there in the world right now is to have Joe Rogan part of the podcast. I love uh, Joe's testimony and Dr. Jordan Peterson was on Joe Rogan. And I think everybody has seen uh, Dr. Peterson's testimony on Joe Rogan. The fact that he overcame depression as a clinical psychologist is just crazy. Um, 
So yeah, it, that would be a dream come true if we could get Joe Rogan talking on the podcast. The thing with Joe that's so interesting is he he talks about carnivore, he's passionate about it, but so much of what I've seen him talk about is just the weight loss. I don't think he realized how incredible it is for mental health, depression, anxiety, people with, with clinical depression for 30 years overcome it in like three weeks. It's incredible. Uh, autoimmune disorders people overcome. All of these other things besides weight loss. I haven't had, heard Joe talk about that too much. So um, yeah, that's a that's a life goal for sure is to get Joe Rogan on the Healing Humanity documentary. Oh, uh, here's another big one. Uh, Amanda, carnivorous me. I love Amanda. She was on our 10 hour live stream or 24 hour live stream. She's got a great YouTube channel, incredible story. So this is uh, Amanda Carnivorous Me. She lost 121 pounds in 12 months. You could see the before and after there. It's just incredible. She had a walker. I interviewed her on my channel early on and she's telling me about her walker. Um, that was kind of her breaking point was uh, with her husband helping her get around. Um, but her her walker, and I said to her, it'd be cool if you took that walker and like the movie Office Space, take it out into a field and just beat it with a baseball bat and destroy it because you're never going to need it again. So uh, uh, that's another very, very inspiring story. Amanda has an awesome channel. She's so smart. I love, uh, she got into, when I interviewed her, she was describing all of the various tests and the nuance with testing around the carnivore chemistry that us carnivores have versus the standard American diet chemistry. She's, uh, she's awesome. She's, she's well read. Uh, just amazing. Love Amanda. Great, great story there. So I wanted to share hers as well. Here's another one. This guy lost 50 pounds in five months with carnivore. Pretty cool results there. Laura Spath. Amazing transformation for Laura. Just incredible. What I love about Laura too, if you're not following her, she was traveling when we did 24 hour live stream, but she sent us a video, a testimonial. Uh, it was so cool her weight loss, her everything. And the fact that she's been doing it for years and she figured out how to moderate because that's a tricky part for a lot of people that people don't think about. A lot of people are getting into this to lose weight. Well, what happens when you lose that weight and you're at your goal weight? A lot of things change. I did a video a while back called the, the five stages of carnivore. And that fifth stage is, um, when you're, when you're, when you're done, you've lost all your weight and it's maintenance mode. It's time to maintain yourself. Laura has figured out maintenance mode and she's been doing it for years now and she's just thriving awesome youtube channel too just look at the results just just incredible transformation so hoping some of these will inspire people these are just some photos but i also have some texts and stories that people sent me here's another one i just came across carnivore um aurorealis Aur probably saying that wrong this is brett he lost 98 pounds and cured depression 275 down to 177 pounds. That's incredible. When I hear anyone uh, overcoming, curing depression, that's just incredible. Oh, look, we got my buddy here. Uh, old guy carnivore. Look at that transformation. 2023 to 2007. Love his channel. Uh, I had him on my channel and Mitch. I had Mitch on my channel and uh, he, he's awesome. He's been putting a lot of videos out lately. 76 year old carnivore living the carnivore lifestyle. Incredible, passionate, great YouTuber, incredible, incredible results before and after. Uh, I love his videos. He's always cooking up breakfast and uh, always has some very good insights in on carnivore and the latest news and things like that. So wanted to share Mitch as well. Wow, we just dig into some of these below. You can see a bunch more. There's Dr. Sean Baker. There's one for me. This was my 78 days. You can see my, my belly hanging out there. That was before and after. I can't believe that. That, that was 78 days. I'm at day 324 now. So that was like 250 days ago. That's crazy. Here, let's click the see more. See what else we got here. I guess I got to be careful just going through all of these. We've got Dante again over there. Oh, here we go. Semi-retired Bob, he's awesome too. Look at that transformation. Got a great YouTube channel as well. Semi-retired Bob, I had him on the channel. Uh, I think he was on the 24-hour live stream as well. Starting a homestead. I got to catch up with him again. I want to see how that went, how that was going for him. The last time I chatted with him, he was heading out to start up a homestead. 
Here's another one, man. I, I got too many videos here. I think I, I Googled carnivore transformations. This was my 99 day uh, update. Here's Dave Mack. I don't even need to see the face. I know that one, low fat, high fat. Dave Mack, awesome YouTube channel as well. Great YouTuber. Hey, here's my other buddy. Um, man, so many, so many people that I've talked to. Carnivore Ron. We got Carnivore Ron right here, 71 years old. He was one of the first people I interviewed on my channel. Awesome. Well, hey, I'm going to close this one for now. Now, here we go. I've got these. So I wanted to share some of these with you next, but I'm going to jump back and forth in the chat. Uh, so please, if you have your story, let me let me make sure I get caught up here. I'm going to star some of these. If you have your carnivore transformation, your proper human diet transformation, let me know. Uh, I'm going to read a couple of these right now, and then I'm going to jump back over. Let me stop sharing this here for a second. I'm hearing an echo for something. I don't know where the echo is coming from. Okay, I think we're good now. You guys can hear me okay? Everything's good? I think I had my phone on. I was hearing an echo. All right, here we go. Oh, we got some good testimonials already coming through here. And I've got some I, got, I want to share as well. Make sure I don't miss any here. Hey, guys, while I'm, while I'm catching up on this, my daughter, Katie, shout out Katie, uh, started uh, keto today. She's going to do keto and then ketovore and then maybe jump into carnivore. She's one of my, we have triplets plus one. Uh, Katie, I think she tried carnivore like five months ago, but she really didn't try it that much. She's like, I just can't, it's too much meat. She doesn't eat pork. And she, so she wasn't doing bacon, uh, but she's doing it today. She had a steak for lunch and we went grocery shopping and uh, she's easing into it. So I'm very happy about that. My wife, Jen's doing ketovore. So we're all at different stages. Katie's doing keto, which is 20 carbs or less. Jen is doing ketovore, which is 10 carbs or less. And I'm doing carnivore, which is, as you know, uh, but it's cool because now it's it's so hard eating dinner at home. Now Katie and Jen are working together and cooking food together. So we just went grocery shopping today. So that's pretty exciting. I did a little short earlier. Uh, oh, also Emma, Emma and Alyssa got a new job, uh, waitressing. They just started today, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, they're finishing up here soon. I'm, I'm going to see how see how it went for them. They're waitressing at. A uh, place that sells smoked meats. It's a pretty cool place here in, in town. Wow, we got so many comments. I'm going to be so far behind. I gotta, I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. All right, let, let, let's let's read some of these from people. Hey, it's my buddy Bob, Pop Eater. All I have to share is weight loss. All Bob, all 110 pounds. A hundred. Just imagine that in bowling balls, carrying around that many bowling balls. 11 10-pound bowling balls you're no longer carrying around, Bob. That's awesome. Andy Schnick asks, Kerry, can you interview just one more person for your documentary? No. <laughs> We're so booked up. Kevin Stock, DDS, one of the improvements I had in carnivores, my gums and teeth getting better despite not brushing for years. Same for me and a lot of carnivores. I don't know if we'll have room in the documentary, but maybe in the subsequent series we're hoping to do. I think it's important to cover because um, – inflammation is one of the biggest problems for humanity. And that shows up in the mouth, in the gums, uh, very quickly. If you're inflamed, uh, I went to a dental hygienist shortly after starting carnivore and they're like, you have no inflammation. What is this? She's like, everyone I see their gums are bleeding and you see the inflammation in the mouth first. Hey, we got a new member, Rich LeBoy and then Darth Carnivore. Thank you so much. I'm doing a lot more members content. When we went to film Dr. Barry, I did two members only videos and I'm releasing my YouTube videos to members first. And every week, Thursday, we do a members only live stream. I hate pushing and being like, oh, give me, give the money, do the fundraising. Every penny goes to the documentary. I don't take a penny. Um, if you want to donate to the documentary, it's donate.healinghumanity.movie. Uh, thank you to the generous donations and the memberships. We were able to go out and film Dr. Ken Berry. We also purchased some expensive but needed studio lights that we've been renting up until this point. Uh, we're making some incredible progress. What we got with Dr. Berry puts a huge smile on my face. We had big expectations going into film Dr. Berry because he's Dr. Berry. He knocked it out of the park, exceeded all expectations. It's going to take the documentary to the next level. I can't wait to share it with you all. Thelma. 
Hi, Carrie. I've uh, followed you for a year now and 100% carnivore. I lost my diabetes, my high blood pressure, my arthritis pain, and 48 pounds. I'm feeling so much better than I have for many, many years. Thelma, that puts a big smile on my face. I, I'm getting a little goosebumps reading it. I can hear how happy you are. Lost your diabetes, lost your high blood pressure, lost your arthritis pain. I had arthritis pain. It was horrible. It was horrible. It's completely gone. And you're down 48 pounds. Nearly five 10 pound bowling balls. Thelma is no longer carrying around. Why is that? Because Thelma is a proper human. Why is that? Because Thelma is the captain of her own ship. She took control and said, I'm not going to do this anymore. This craziness, slowly poisoning herself, miserable with diabetes and high blood pressure and arthritis, aches and pains. She probably had brain fog. She probably had all sorts of other issues. And she said, no more. I'm in control. I'm the captain of my ship. And look at it now, Thelma. You got a whole new life ahead of you. And the life you're living from this moment forward is a life worth living, a life where you can thrive as a human, where you're not suffering and in brain fog and just just, just going along to get along. That's what I used to do. I'd go along to get along. I'd rather sit on the couch and watch TV than be out here talking to people, than making personal connections and friendships. It's it's just amazing. Well done, Thelma. Well done. Hey, it's my buddy, Lori, Carnivore Cheer. I'm finally free from carbs, sugar, and seed oils. The three-car train wreck. My weight is stable, and I no longer feel shame from overweight and belly fat. No carbs or sugar since 2022. Shout out, Lori, Carnivore Cheer. Another great YouTube channel, an awesome person, awesome individual, captain of her own ship. It's Captain Carnivore Cheer, Lori. Love you, Lori. You're awesome. Well done. Everyone go check out Lori's channel, Carnivore Cheer. We got Nola Carnivore Daryl, 400 days, 400 days, over 100 pounds down, 10 bowling balls, my friend. You're no longer carrying around. A1C 11, not 5.7. Cancer beat off over 18 meds. Many more healing benefits. That is just absolutely incredible. You mentioned cancer too. That hits close to home. Uh, my good friend, Jeff DeProsperous, is on a journey to be cancer-free. He is thriving as a carnivore. That man is the ultimate competitor, living life to the fullest. But I also say it hits home, close to home because Jeff is a very good friend of mine. But my dad was recently diagnosed with cancer as well. Uh, I just sent him this morning. I sent him the video I did. Dad, if you're watching this right now, you better go watch that video. I sent him the video I did with Jeff DeProsperous and Dr. Tony Hampton. Shout out Dr. Tony Hampton, who went out of his way on Thanksgiving morning to give us a master class on cancer as a metabolic disease with metabolic treatments. Dr. Hampton put together this amazing uh, presentation for us, talking about the importance of keto and carnivore if you have cancer or if you want to avoid getting cancer, talking about fasting and supplements and 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 how cancer thrives on glucose and glutamine and what you can do about it. So uh, we did that video on Thanksgiving and uh, dad, if you're watching this, you better go, you better go watch that. I also, I'm a good son. I ordered some steaks for my dad and shipped them to his house without telling him. Cause I knew if I told him ahead of time, he would have been like, ah, I don't got room in my freezer. Ah, don't do that. That's too much. You don't got to do it. So I just, I just did it. You got to stop the sugar. Now, if you can't jump into full keto, you do you, if you can't jump into full carnivore, start with keto, baby steps. I want you to eat bacon and eggs for breakfast. I want you to stop with the toast and the jelly, and I want no more sugar. Sorry, guys, I'm I'm yelling at my dad right now. You better be watching this, senior. All right, we'll we'll move on to the next one. High fat lion's lifestyle, over 60 pounds down, now a size two. No longer crave sugar, still eat like a horse. Hardcore introvert, no longer allergic to people. Yes, I actually enjoy networking and mingling. Sunny C, I love that you said that. 100%. That was me and every carnivore. That is why he, humanity needs healing. I had this conversation with Dr. Barry. I'm going to keep name dropping Dr. Barry. I, I don't care. That man is my hero. And we had this conversation. And I, I was just saying to him, I'm like, yeah, Dr. Barry, this is, this is why humanity needs healing. All of these other reasons we've all discussed. Obesity, diabetes. Uh, cancer, heart disease, all of those reasons, of course. But here's one reason outside of all that. Brain fog and fatigue. That's it. Brain fog and fatigue. 
The majority of humanity walking around right now has brain fog and fatigue. I did myself. When you're not putting the proper fuel in your body, your brain can't keep up. The brain requires an incredible amount of energy. And if you want to learn more about that, check out Dr. Georgia Ede's book. It gets into all the science about it. But one of her big points was the brain requires a ton of energy. And when you're putting that crap fuel in there, sugar and processed garbage, it's not enough. It's not enough. Your brain needs more. And you get tired and you get brain fog and you get fatigued. And what happens? This is what I talked to Dr. Barry about. You go along to get along. You go ride the couch and you sit on the couch and you watch TV. You're not on here talking to people. You're allergic to people like Sunny C was. You're not making friendships. You're not even connecting with your family like you should. You're not connecting with your friends like you should. You're doing the bare minimum at work. And you had hopes and dreams and goals for your life, but you're too tired and you're too fatigued and you're too brain fogged to do anything about it. That has completely changed for me. And that was one of my big carnivore epiphanies. The majority of humanity right now on the standard American diet, they're sad because they're weak, they're fatigued, and they have brain fog because they're not putting the proper fuel in their body. And when you're going along to get along, that's no way to live. It's absolutely no way to live. And every carnivore I've met is like you, Sonny C. They're no longer allergic to people. They enjoy networking and mingling and making friendships and making real human connections with people like we're intended to do. I was never like this before. Believe me, I would have been riding the couch. The thought of doing a live stream, we got 343 people on here right now, would have had me shaking in my boots and I'm finding excuses to get out of it. Now I, I, I welcome it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Ketovore Life, today is day 254. Been carnivore since June 1st. Weight loss is slow for me, but feeling great and finding this pretty easy to stick with. Way easier for me than keto was. That is amazing. And I just want to say, good for you. Everyone is different. I want to be so cautious on that. I really believe that I had it easier. Uh, I think I think it's easier for men than women. There's different hormones depending on your age, depending on maybe your genetics and other things like that. It's different for everyone. But the fact that you're doing it and it's easier for you than keto and you're sticking to it, I, I'm so happy to hear that. Think about this, uh, ketovore life. You being a full-on carnivore as you are, you have almost no inflammation in your body. And almost all of the horrible diseases that people get when they get older is from chronic inflammation. Diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer's, dementia, and cancer. Chronic inflammation across the board. Think about what you're doing now and how you feel now. And it sounds like it's going great, which I love, but think of the long-term benefits. You don't have to worry about those things like other people did. Prior to doing the carnivore diet, I was worried about those things because my body was chronically inflamed from eating highly inflammatory food. I'm not eating that food anymore. I'm not worried about those things anymore. Plus, I'm not worried about those things anymore because as a carnivore, I live in the moment. And if that ever does happen, I'm going to deal with it when it comes. But um, I don't. I think my odds are drastically reduced. And ketovore life, I believe your odds are drastically reduced as well because you've eliminated that horrible inflammation that everybody in the world should be worried about. None of them are. They're all worried about their stupid cholesterol numbers. That's what everyone will say to you. What's your cholesterol? What's your LDL? And they're clueless about metabolic health and they're clueless about um, inflammation. BK, Belgian carnivore, I'm only five foot seven, went from 330 to 220 pounds. That's 110 pounds. That's 11 bowling balls. That is incredible. Good job, BK, Belgian carnivore. Man, I could read these things all night. I got to hurry, though, because there's a bunch of them. Thelma. Oh, this is Thelma again. At age 88, you didn't mention that before. I feel better than I have for many years. No more diabetes. No more high blood pressure. No more high cholesterol, as well as no more meds. So thankful to God and you and other doctors. Wonderful life. Oh, my goodness, Thelma. You're going to make me tear up. I, you know, nothing makes me happier, too. 88 years old, you are living life to your fullest. God bless you. That is absolutely amazing. And I wish I could meet you and give you a big hug and shake your hands and just, we are friends, okay? If you're ever in Montello, I, I seriously, I just, I love that. At 88 years old, it's so sad that most people at 88 years old, most people, honestly, at 88 years old aren't even around anymore because the average life expectancy, I think in the United States is 75. So you're already 13 years past that. But at 88, 
most people are suffering and wouldn't become the captain of their own ship and wouldn't take control of their own lives and wouldn't be brave to make such a drastic change that you did, Thelma. And you've changed your life and you've improved all of these things. And it's just puts a big smile on my face. I'm so happy for you. Thank you for sharing your story. Sunny C, the mental health benefits far exceed weight loss. If you've been in a dark place, you know it. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Kevin Wilson, my buddy. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin put out some videos promoting healing humanity. I had Kevin on the channel. Uh, we did a video. I think we did one with Carnivore Soldier Larry as well and uh, Dante Ferrigno. Good evening. 110 pounds fat loss and lean muscle added on Carnivore since March of 2023. That's my date too, buddy. It's coming up next month. That's my daughter's birthday, and that's my one-year carnivorsary at 54 years old, maintaining with no more vicious eating cycles. Energy and mental improvements are amazing. Awesome. Kevin is jacked too. He is just ripped. Kevin Wilson, SBC. He's got a YouTube channel. Go check him out. Keep getting an urge to run just for the joy of it. Makes me feel elated. I'm 5'6". Haven't run like this since I was in my 20s. Awesome carnivore, Jane. You get excess energy. That's back to the brain thing I was saying before. The brain requires an incredible amount of energy. It doesn't require as much when you're putting that good fuel in there. You're putting that good fuel in there, you're going to have excess energy. And that's just that's just awesome. All right, I'm going to fall so far behind on these comments. I got a couple I want to share for my own, and then I'm going to jump back and forth here. Oh, so I have I have a little folder, and when I get a, a comment that tears me up or gives me uh, that gives me the goosebumps, I put them on my phone while I transferred them onto here. So I'm going to go through some of these quickly with you. Oh, this first one, there it is. Bill Not shout out. Uh, this is in. So I have this folder called Uplifting on my phone. This was when Bill first uh, commented. This was my first introduction to Bill. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but uh, I just turned 56. I'm over 700 pounds. Needless to say, I'm basically bedridden and have had to have a toilet installed next to my bed years ago. This is the part that really caught me from Bill. I know I've reached the end of the line, and if I don't make a drastic change, I won't be in this world much longer. My body is telling me that. My dreams at night are telling me that. Just incredible. That's Bill Knott, and he's down, what, over 200 pounds now. He just bought a mountain bike, and he's thriving. My good buddy, I'm so happy for him. He's so excited for this summer. I'm so excited for this summer. That's just incredible. Um, let me go back up here. We got, I got a couple of these here in the folder. Some of these, I'm not, uh, I'm trying to find ones that I can read. Some of these, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but some of these are very nice. Like this one, you're changing my life. I would argue humbly. No, you decided to change your own life and Bill too. I get a lot of people saying what you did for Bill was so great. No, what Bill decided to do for himself was so great. Bill was brave and Bill went against the grain and Bill decided to do this for himself. As an individual, we have to decide to do this or not. No one else can make that decision for you. But I do appreciate the nice words. Uh, you are changing my life. A month and a half ago, I was taking antidepressants. These ones always really hit me. Uh, I was showed it a hundred times here, but these are mostly my antidepressants, anti-anxiety medicine, sleep medicine, uh, but like 20 different pills I took that are all gone on carnivore. I was taking antidepressants, coding for migraines, and Ritalin for ADHD. I'm only 25 years old. I've taken all that medicine. A cesspool of medication, as Dr. Barry said. I started eating animal-based, about 80% animal, and I was able to quit all of my meds without any side effects. Now I'm going full carnivore. Oh, man, that just warms my heart. How, how can that not fire you up? 25 years old on all of that medication and is reversing it all. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Here's another one. And then I'm, I'm going to jump back and forth to your comments that you guys are leaving. This one was from Eddie. My name is Eddie. Uh, you have helped me change my life. I was 475, was intermittent fasting, maybe lost 40 pounds, but I was still miserable and hateful. I had agoraphobia. I didn't go out of the house uh, and all my me had all my meals brought to me. I wouldn't even come out of my man cave. I had depression. My wife almost left me. I saw your video talking about how your depression and stuff went away. And so that was the selling point for me to give it a try. Well, that was 62 days ago. I'm now down 122 pounds since my heaviest. Wow. From 475 down to 354. So thank you so much for sharing your life. I know you're busy, but if you ever want to reach out, oh, I probably shouldn't have posted it. I didn't realize he had his phone number on there. So shout out Eddie. This was the first introduction I had to Bill. He sent me this picture. Look at Bill, man. He has come so far in the last six or seven months. Man, Bill, you're just, you're just awesome. 
All right, here's one more, and then I'll jump back to the comments in the chat here. Hey, Carrie, sending a massive thank you for changing my life. I'm day 90 carnivore, and I owe a lot of my success to your YouTube channel. You've given me hope, information, and determination to stick to this diet on my low days. I'm a 29-year-old paramedic from Australia. 10-year history of binge eating. I've always exercised and lift weights. Since being carnivore, I've been able to strip back a lot of the fat and reveal the hard-earned muscle I've been building over the years. But the best part is my mind is finally at peace. I'm calmer, happier, and I feel no restrictions whatsoever. Thank you for putting out all the amazing content. Uh, keep it going. So that's pretty awesome. All right. I've got I've got some more of those I'll share, but we got more comments here. I got to catch up on these comments now. Wow. So many comments. If you left your testimonial, please maybe repeat it because I, I am lost in a pool of comments here right now. I'm going to try to make sure I don't miss any. So many great stories here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Jay Davis been almost five months on carnivore, but my joint pain is not going away. Any suggestions, anyone? Are you fully 100% carnivore? And I'm not shaming you or judging you, but I, I ask a lot of people this and they'll say, well, you know, I still have cheese and coffee and a Diet Coke every now and then. Um, I would, I would, and if it were me and I were five months on carnivore, this is my suggestion. I'm just telling you, Izzy, what I would do. I would do lion diet. I would commit to lion diet. Just try for three days. Change it up and see. Maybe it's the eggs. Maybe there's something that's causing it. But if you're doing carnivore and you're eating beef, butter, bacon, eggs, it is not hard to go from that to just doing lion diet for three days. Try that and see, see how it goes. And I, I wish you the best. Shout out my buddy, Mike. I'm up 16 pounds from where I started carnivore back in May. Still lean physique. Mike is putting on the muscle. Uh, I love it. Mike gave me a testimonial. I think it was on the 24 hour live stream. And he said, I'm getting stronger than ever before. And it gave me goosebumps. It was a powerful, powerful statement. Mike did uh Mike did a uh, lion diet for quite some time as well. Oh, our friend, Susan Hampton. Susan is awesome. Always leaving great comments. Susan, I began strict keto June 2018, transitioned to carnivore June 2023. Lost 145 pounds on keto and 23 pounds on carnivore. 168 pounds, 16.8, almost 17, 10 pound bowling balls. Everyone visualize 17, 10 pound bowling balls. I'm going to keep using the bowling balls. Jen and Katie and I went bowling today. We had a little family day. Uh, I was traveling to see Dr. Barry. Got to keep a good balance with the family. So I'm going to keep using the bowling ball ones. But imagine that, Susan. Oh, my goodness. One day at a time, healing my body from the inside out. Susan, you're incredible. 17, 10 pound bowling balls you're no longer carrying around. That's crazy. Tamara, right. Carnivore is healing me after a month on the ventilator and 2.5 before I went home. Still on O2 with pulmonary fibrosis and clots. Praise God, still here. Didn't start feeling alive again till carnivore. Wow, that's amazing. That is one of the scariest things in the world, Tamara. My, uh, my daughter, Lily, had two blood clots in her lungs and it almost took her life. Tim Wallace is asking, are there any success stories on carnivore and prostate cancer? Um, Tim, I would suggest checking out cancerevolution.film. It's a documentary. Um, I have since met the, the, the gentleman uh, and his wife, Brad and Maggie, that are putting it together. They're incredible. It's an incredible documentary. Um, but they're, they have a YouTube channel where they have cancer thrivers. And these cancer thrivers put their story on there. I'm pretty sure there's some that had prostate cancer. And they're just quick YouTube clips. Uh, the documentary is incredible, too. I'd, I'd suggest watching that one as well. Hey, Carrie, you need to try to come to Keto Palooza in Louisville, Kentucky in October. Ooh, I might have to add that on. I was just in Kentucky driving back from Dr. Barry's. I am going to be at KetoCon, and I am um, planning. I don't have a date yet doing a keto meetup here at the world-famous Montello Theater as well. Man, we got almost 400 people on here today. What is going on? Thank you guys so much. This is crazy. Kel, uh, what movie do you have playing tonight? We're playing The Beekeeper with Jason Statham, action movie, and it went nuts up there. It was only, uh, it was really slow yesterday, Friday, so I figured it'd be kind of dead tonight. We had a crazy rush of people. There's a ton of people up there watching that movie right now. Oh my goodness, we got some super chats. Oh, wow. 
Kevin Wilson, thank you so much. So proud of you, Carrie, and the entire team working on the Healing Humanity movie. Thank you so much for saying that, Kevin. Again, for anyone new, every penny we get from these Super Chats goes towards the documentary. We just went and filmed Dr. Ken Berry. We just bought new lighting. We're going to be filming down at KetoCon. We're going to be filming Dr. Hampton. We're going to be filming a couple individuals as well. I'm really excited about uh, down there. None of this would be possible without these donations. And I just want to say real quick, I'm so proud of the fact we're doing this too. I put thousands of dollars of my own money and thousands of hours of my time. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I'm put. I'm practicing what I'm preaching here. I'm not just going out asking for funds. Um, I, what, the thing I'm proud about with our documentary is almost every documentary out there has some sort of horrible bias. Like this one that just came on Netflix, the Blue Zone one. Even vegans are saying, dude, that thing was biased. That thing was paid for by Beyond Meat and all of these vegan organizations. Ours is almost entirely crowdfunded, crowdfunded. We don't have a bias. My only bias is telling the truth. And when I get on here and I do these live streams, when I do YouTube videos, and when I do this documentary, my sole purpose and goal is to tell the truths as I know them. No bias, no motivation. I'm not selling you pills. I'm not even selling you meat. I'm just saying, look what happened to me. Look what happened to these individuals. But there's, we're not selling you some pill or medication at the end. And you know, it sounds like a small thing, but it's a huge detail. Look really closely at a lot of the documentaries you watch. And sadly, uh, a lot of them have some sort of motivation behind them. Wow, we got a lot of super chats. Lori, $50. That is so generous. Thank you so much. Living healthy without food addiction is worth millions. That is the truth right there. Speaking of telling the truth, worth millions. Yes, I would trade a lottery ticket in a second. I have no addictions none whatsoever. And it is incredible. I'm in full control. I'm the captain of my ship. I'm not saying, what are we going to eat? What are we going to do? No, 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 no. Living life to my fullest potential. I'm not sitting here worrying about food all the time. I drink water, I eat steak, and I feel amazing. I feel great. Thank you so much, Lori. That was very generous. $50. Uh, Chris Stearns, $20. 30 pounds in two months, carnivore killing it. Used to ache so bad getting out of bed. All gone. Keep being real and your enthusiasm is contagious. 50 pounds to go till no more fatty McButter pants goal. Can't wait to see your flick. Thank you so much, Chris. That's amazing. You got this. I really appreciate your comment about the enthusiasm and stuff like that. I've been hearing that comment and I'm like, honestly, I probably would have stopped doing these YouTube videos a while ago. I'm doing them number one to keep the momentum going for the documentary. I'm doing them number two because I keep getting these comments from people that were horribly clinically depressed and in some way my story inspired them or lit a fire or encouraged them and you can't unring this bell uh there's nothing more rewarding than hearing someone overcame depression hopelessness um so i'm gonna just i'm gonna keep up with the enthusiasm but i really appreciate that 50 pounds you got it buddy you got it just keep going and i love your avatar too by the way Step Brothers is hilarious Shout out Todd Bachness, the carnivore cure. Always so generous. Thank you so much, Todd. With all this evidence, does anyone still think carnivore is still anecdotal? Are we all awake yet? Laugh out loud. Todd, you're awesome, my friend. You are awesome. That was one of my big questions. I know the answer. You know the answer. But that was one of my questions for Dr. Barry because that's one of my worries with the documentary, Healing Humanities. People are going to watch it and they're going to be like, yeah, but... Todd's story, that's just anecdotal. Bill's story, that's just anecdotal. You got four, five, 10, 12. These are just anecdotes. And I'm like, dude, Dr. Barry, 3 million subscribers. I can't imagine. I'm showing you some of the letters and some of the transformations that I get. I have 70,000 comments in just like the last couple months. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying so many of those comments are people with their life story or it's a transformation or they had cancer and they're, they're, they're thriving now as a carnivore. I can't imagine. I have a fraction of what Dr. Barry has. That man must be just be getting, he must, I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine the number of testimonials he was having. My, my point is this. I asked him about anecdotal. He's like, man, you should see all of the stuff I'm getting. Like how, at what point is it no longer anecdotal when you have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people reporting these incredible transformations? Everyone go check out uh, Carnivore Cure as well. Todd is awesome. Doing some great YouTube videos. Can't wait to see you, buddy, and film you. Todd is getting filmed uh, when we go down to KetoCon in Austin. I can't wait to capture his story. Todd's story is incredible, and it's just getting better and better. And, you know, Todd, the weight loss is obviously incredible. But Todd will tell you, and I, I know this, I'm going to speak on his behalf. Todd overcame depression and hopelessness after 
decades of suffering from it. In just a couple of weeks, he's pissed off about it. I'm pissed off about, about it. How many people, Todd, are, are like you and I were? Just completely hopeless at this very moment. They need to read this book. They need to hear these words and they need to understand it. But everything is telling them otherwise. But Todd's pissed. I'm pissed too. All those years of suffering. What really pisses me off about it is, is my children. And the fact that they didn't, they didn't have a dad for years and years and years. I was a zombie, a catatonic zombie on a couch. They missed out on having a dad. And the information I needed right in this book, right in these testimonials, right in these stories, it was just the food I was eating. It's so simple. And not one of these doctors ever mentioned it. Sorry, I'm going off on a rant now. But uh, I, Todd's story is just incredible. I, I just remember you saying, Todd, it was like three weeks into it, your depression's gone. Like, what the hell is going on? Three weeks in and it's gone? Nobody could have mentioned this or told me this before. And, and Todd, like me, it's like, I feel kind of foolish now, but I, I had no clue before. I was in a brain fog. I was doing what my doctors were telling me. I had no, what, it's just the food I'm eating. Everyone's eating food. How could it just be the food? No, it was just the food. Carnival Cheer, I'll pray for your father, Carrie. Thank you so much, Lori. I really appreciate that. Hey, it's Ed, carnivorous dude. How's it going, buddy? Uh, Ed came out to the uh, Chicago meetup. It was awesome. Everyone check out Carnivorous Dude on YouTube too. Christy, my friend, meeting wellness. Another awesome, incredible YouTuber. Christy, proper human diet for one year, keto for four months, and carnivore for eight. Lost all of her inflammation, acne clear, brain fog gone, sleep is improved, energy is through the roof, general feeling of wellness. Love it. You have a whole new life ahead of you, Christy. And just think of the quality of your life now compared to before. That's one of the things I'm never going to do is take this for granted. Like I, I say it every day. I'm thankful, grateful, blessed. I could die tomorrow at this very moment. I'm thankful, grateful, blessed. I feel incredible. And I want to keep reminding myself of that because unfortunately, humans tend to normalize things. And it, it, we, we end up, things become normal and then we take them for granted. And I haven't done that with carnivore, and I, I don't intend to. Thank you for interviewing Dr. Seafried, Proper Human Diet, and Dr. Hampton. If I were him, I'd do all beef. You're a good son. Oh, you're talking about my dad. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing him. You know, before he was diagnosed, I was down there visiting him not too long ago, and he was having these issues. And I'm like, just, just do this, just do this. I try not to be too pushy, but... Um, he's like, I just don't like meat like you. And I'm like, you think, do you really think I'm doing this just because I love meat so much? No, I'm doing it for a million other reasons, but also I love meat. I, I I'm thankful, grateful, blessed for every bite. I feel incredible doing it, but, um, I'm, I'm confident he's gonna, he's gonna ease into it and then hopefully do it. That was my advice to him too. I would do carnivore dad. If you're watching do carnivore. Trust me, it's going to suck for two weeks. It's going to be hard getting over your sugar addiction. And then you will never look back. It'll be the easiest thing in the world and you'll be thriving. And this is my advice for my dad. My dad loves golfing and he's a good golfer. Uh, but he's suffering now because he's weak and he's tired and he's fatigued and he's got inflammation. Dad, if you did carnivore, you would be killing it as a golfer because you would have no more brain fog. Golfing is a big mental game and you'd have no more inflammation. So when you lean over to pick up the golf ball, and you have all those aches and pains right now. Those will be gone. You'll be killing it golfing, absolutely killing it golfing. Toby's carnivore question, trying to figure out what is the best way to cook ribeye steak. Oh my goodness, I could spend an hour on this. My favorite way is smoking it on the smoker at 225 degrees until it reaches an internal temperature of 115 degrees. And then I sear the heck out of it in beef tallow on a cast iron skillet. Get a nice medium, medium rare. It comes out incredible. That, that's, that's how I do it. Dr. Barry is awesome. Understatement. Understatement. He's incredible. Absolutely. Uh, you guys stay tuned. I got, I've got. i got, we did the documentary, but we also filmed the YouTube video together and it was so cool. And I got to tell Dr. Barry just what I think of him. Uh, this is what I told him. I said, this isn't flattery. It's not flattery. I'm not trying to kiss Dr. Barry's butt. I already got the interview. He's already done the documentary. There's no reason to, to do that at the end of a video. I believe in giving credit where credit is due, and I believe it's incredibly important to elevate the voices of positive deviants, people that are doing something drastically different and having incredible results. Dr. Barry is the definition of a positive deviant. 
Look at all of his doctor peers and friends. They would think he's insane. Yet look at his results. Look at the millions of people he's helped. I said to Dr. Barry at the end of the video we did, and you guys will be able to see this on the YouTube video coming up soon. I said, Dr. Barry, I can't think of one individual human being that has helped save or transform more lives than you. I can't think of one. And you're going to have to watch the YouTube video to hear what he said back to me on that one. Leave me a comment down below. Again, this isn't flattery. That guy's got 3 million subscribers. You watch some of his videos. His type 2 diabetes video alone has 2,000 comments. Dr. Barry, you saved my life. Dr. Barry, you reversed my type 2 diabetes. Dr. Barry, what you told me in 10 minutes, my stupid doctor couldn't tell me in 10 years. Leave me a comment down below. Can anyone, uh, this is a legitimate question. Can anyone think of an individual that has helped save or transform more lives than Dr. Ken Berry? Adam and I were talking about that. We we're just racking our brains. It's got to be. No, I can't. I really can't think of any individual person that's done that. Thank you, Carrie. Tell Emma, hi, we miss her here. She's a great video filmer. Oh, thank you so much. I will do just that. She's awesome. Uh, I was so hoping Emma could have came with with Dr. Barry, but she already missed so much school. And it was a quick turnaround. It was a lot of driving. So she didn't get to come with to to. to meet Dr. Barry. That would have been incredible. But maybe next time we're going to be heading back to Dr. Barry's place again for hoping to get a walking tour around his farm this summer and, and do a more in-depth interview. Hey, Gary, I'm down hundred pounds and have been working out hard. Thanks for your inspiration. That's incredible. 10 bowling balls and you're working out now. You're awesome. Well done. Toby said, I keep hearing people say about sous vide cooking. I got to do that. I haven't tried it yet. Yes, that is another method. A lot of people, my buddy Adam, carnivore today. Um, yeah, lots of people, lots of people uh, love that method, especially for other cuts of meat other than ribeye. It does a pretty good job. Hey, it's my friend Sherry, the carnivore mommy. Hey, Carrie, how's this going? Glad to see you made it back safely. It is going awesome. Thankful, grateful, blessed. I have a big smile on my face. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I'm not showing for the camera. I, just today, I was just, I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful. I'm in, almost brings a tear to my eye. It's just crazy. Uh, I'm humbled by the fact that I got to go out and film my hero, Dr. Ken Berry. I'm humbled by all of you. I'm humbled by this documentary. I'm so excited for what we have so far and what we're going to be able to share with the world. Uh, but yeah, just putting the proper fuel in my body. I'm, I'm not, as I said this before, I'm no longer depressed. I'm no longer anxious. I'm no longer on this medication. Um, but I'm not just baseline. I'm the opposite of whatever hopeless depression is. And that is just grateful happiness. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. Anthony, thank you, Carrie. God bless Homestead. How? Hi, Bill. Not. Oh, thank you so much. Is Bill in the chat? I'm so far behind now. I got to catch up. I don't want to miss any of these. Hey, it's my buddy. Who's your carnivore? Brett. Brett, you're in my, uh, I'm showing my folder, Brett, of uplifting messages and comments. And you're in there, Brett, from uh, when I decided to follow Jeff to Prosperous and fast with him. Like two minutes later, Brett's like, I'm in. I'm doing it too. And that puts a big smile on my face. I've got this big folder, Brett, of all this uplifting comments and pictures of Bill and uh, exciting comments from people. And you, my friend, are in my folder when I need a smile uh, or a little pick-me-up, which is kind of rare because I'm usually smiling already. I'll read one of those. Jill Stein said, some of us will get there eventually, Carrie. Not everyone was able to start and go like you did. We all still have our individual stories. We love Carrie. A hundred percent. Yes. I always try to make that clear too. Like all results are different. Men, I think men have it easier than women. Genetics play into it, things like that. Um, so everyone's different, but, uh, man, stick to it. My sister, it was a lot harder for her. And I remember there was a time when she wasn't even eating meat. She wasn't even eating ribeyes or beef. She's just eating like chicken. So I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I just don't have the taste for it. And then one day she called me. She's like, a switch went off. I am craving ribeye and she's lifting weights and it all came together for her, but it, it, it took longer for her. All right. I got to catch up on these comments. All right, we got one from Diane. Guess what, guys? I just had my annual doctor appointment yesterday, down 20 pounds, healed the thyroid. Iron levels are finally perfect. Total cholesterol is 130. My HDL went up, my LDL went down. Doc said I am on a goal. Congratulations, Diane. That is awesome. Love it. Uh, how old is your dad? 75. 
75, 74 or 75. I might be a year off on that one. Sorry, Dad. Uh, Carinivore, Carinivore, Carinivore. These stories are so encouraging. I started Ketivore in January and I'm hoping to be full carnivore by March 1st. Hoping my slower approach helps with oxalate dumping. Smart. Yes. And it's a good approach to have. So many people, Carinivore, just jump in and suffer. Uh, I did keto on and off for years. And uh, I, I like my, when my wife started, I'm like, you got to ease into it. You got to ease into it. So definitely try to ease into it. Oh, my goodness. Karen Glade, $50 super sticker. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Every penny going to the documentary. Jeez, you guys are too generous. Uh, $10 from Mike O. Anxiety, depression, and OCD are way down. Inflammation's gone. Doing BBBE since January 1st, down 17 pounds. Keep rocking. Thanks for all you do. Thank you, Mike. I Keep me posted, my friend. Anxiety, depression, OCD way down. I just absolutely love hearing those things. If you haven't yet, shout out Dr. Georgia Ede's book. Check it out. It's incredible. Covers anxiety, depression, and OCD. It's Todd Bacchus at $20. Thank you, Todd. Absolutely, man. We're all prisoners of war of the big food and pharma war. We are gaining around now, though, and we, we have to keep kicking ass with results, and the lie will fall. Yes, yes, yes. Positive deviance. I have a shirt up. I was going to wear that today. I got my Montella Theater shirt on. Todd is a positive deviant. Todd is doing something drastically different, having incredible results, and when you have a wide-scale social norm, that's what this is right now. That's one of the reasons it's so hard to overcome. Eating sugar, the standard American diet, processed garbage, going to the grocery store and having 60,000 items, almost all of which are waste and garbage. That's the social norm. And people will tell you, ah, you're overreacting. Ah, sugar's not that bad. Ah, just eat it in moderation. No, no, no. We're getting children hooked on an addictive drug sugar from a young age, and it's causing all sorts of health issues. These poor kids end up with depression and anxiety, and they end up on these pills as teenagers. It's disgusting, it's sick, and it needs to stop. And it shouldn't be normalized. And the way we break those social norms is through positive deviance and elevating the voices of people that are doing something drastically different and having amazing results. People like Todd Bachness, people like Dr. Ken Berry, and people like most of you here. That's why I'm always shouting out these YouTube channels and uh, trying to spread the word. So yeah, check out Carnivore Cure. Carnivore Today, my buddy Adam started Carnivore for Vitiligo. Vitiligo, Vitiligo, I'm probably saying that wrong. Joe Rogan had it too. And it started reversing, but healed a six-year-old brain injury. Adam had a traumatic brain injury, a TBI plantar fasciitis, depression, anxiety, osteoarthritis, cystic acne, headaches, and no more sunburns. You're going to fire people up with that, buddy. Huge shout out, Adam Carnivore today. Oh my goodness. My partner in crime. W wouldn't be where we are with the documentary without Adam. You guys got to go check out his YouTube channel. He's doing some great work over there. He nailed it when we filmed Dr. Ken Berry. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to share this footage with you guys. You'll see some footage that we did in a YouTube video. That wasn't the documentary. The documentary, the footage we have, multiple camera angles, perfect composition and lighting. Huge shout out to Adam Carnivore today for all of that. After that, we just put together two chairs. And we're like, Dr. Barry, can we can we film you doing this story sort of thing? I appreciate you carrying this community. I appreciate you and I appreciate the community as well. The community is amazing. Victoria, I really needed this community tonight. We got you, Victoria. You got this. You got this. Bill not looks so good and happy. I love his brothers too. Dude, his his brothers, his his brother Jared is the man. Such a cool dude. I did a whole interview with Jared, by the way. Uh, we did a car ride. He took me to Bill's fishing spot. Nobody's seen it. I've seen it. Nobody else has seen it. It's going in the documentary. Parts of that are going to be in the documentary, so we can't show it on YouTube. But his brother Jared was incredible. Uh, we had a conversation about sugar and brain fog. And when I mentioned brain fog, he looked at me and he was like, because at first he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he's he's a skinny kid, pretty healthy. But I mentioned brain fog. And he was like, I got bad brain fog, real bad brain fog. I'm like, it's a sugar. It's a processed food you're eating. And we had this big conversation in the car. His brothers are awesome. I can't wait to get back up there. Jim Tucker on Facebook, 227 days in. Carrie, thanks to your I only ate meat for 30 days video. Loving the carnivore life. Seven months, down 43 pounds. Working out by choice. You're, who would have thought, Jim Tucker? Who would have thought? 
Do you ever think before this, you would have been like, ah, I'm going to go work out now. No, you'd be like, hell no. That's the last thing I want to do. And now you're like, you got so much energy. You want to go do it because you're a proper human. Back to my police academy weight from 1982. This way of eating makes so much sense. Follow the carnivore docs. CFL, carnivore for life. Yes, yes, yes. If you guys aren't following the docs, just go right now. Leave. Get off my channel. Go follow Dr. Tony Hampton. Of course, Dr. Ken Berry. Dr. Anthony Chafee. Incredible. Uh, Dr. Philip Ovadia. Uh, Dr. Robert Kiltz. Uh, Dr. Lisa Wiedemann. Did I mention Dr. Tony Hampton? Love that guy. Absolutely love all of them. They're good people. They're all good people that could just be doing doctor stuff and doing heart surgery and making incredible livings, but they're going out of their way after hours, after seeing hundreds of patients to help us and get this word out because it's so important and it's so life-changing. And that's why they became doctors because they wanted to heal people. And those guys are healing so many people, both in practice with their hands and online with their words. It's just incredible. Britt Gallen, Texas, uh, Chad Villagers, don't forget to smash that little thumb button below the video. Oh, thank you so much. What is going on tonight? We got almost 500 people on here. That's crazy. Thank you guys so much. Please, please, please. I, I mean, I appreciate the thumbs up. I appreciate the supports, but uh, follow these good doctors. Spread When they do a video, share it on Facebook. Share it on your community tab. Get the word out. That's how we're going to change this for the world. Bill Nott and his brother, shout out. Tomorrow, right, uh, 50 years old and 30 pounds lost after a month on the ventilator and 2.5 pounds and 2.5 before going home on O2 with extensive pulmonary fibrosis, DVT, and PTSD. You are my first video, 110 days carnivore. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. DVT and PTSD. Good job. Good job. Uh, hey, Tamara, Tamara, Tamara. Is it tomorrow or Tamara? I'm sorry. I'm probably messing it up. When we're done with this, you look in the mirror the next time you're in your bathroom or you, you approach a mirror. You look in the mirror and you should be so proud of yourself. So proud of yourself. Look at what you did. You're the captain of your own ship and you were brave when so many other people were just cowards. And they're like, so many people are going to live their whole lives never knowing what it's like to feel like a proper human like you do. You were brave and you decided to do that. You changed your life forever. And now your story here. You're going you're gonna to inspire somebody else. Someone else is going to change their life forever. That's incredible. Rhonda, January 2023, A1C 13. January 2024, A1C 5.5, .5, from 13 to 5.5. .5. Proper human diet only, no medication. That is incredible. Oh, my goodness. We got another one here. Thank you so much for these super stickers, super chats. TKM 7211, 30 more dollars towards the documentary. Thank you so much. I really, I really absolutely, the, the only thing I don't like in life is asking for money for the documentary. I really appreciate all these super chats. Uh, I know I sound like a broken record, but every penny goes towards the documentary and uh, we wouldn't be doing it without you. And the last thing I'll say on this is, documentaries are incredibly expensive to film properly to the level we need to film it to get it in front of millions of people on the big screen or streaming. So we wouldn't be doing it without these donations. Rose Pratter. Carrie, I went back and forth with my doctor yesterday about this and had to shut up because I wanted to say things to her. I shouldn't. Been there, done that. She said the doctors on YouTube make money and don't have statistics. Yeah, they make money. Okay. That's true. Uh, YouTubers make money. Uh, take someone like Dr. Tony Hampton, for example. You can actually look up some of these things on, uh, there's a site called Social Blade. Uh, your doctor is dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you make money on YouTube. Do you really think, oh, here's an example, Dr. Philip Ovadia, a flipping heart surgeon. How much money do heart surgeons make? Does this doctor really think that he has an incentive to go on YouTube because he's trying to make more money on YouTube. He, he's making pennies on YouTube compared to what he would be making doing heart surgery. He's passionate and fired up about this because he's a good person, because he's trying to get the word out there. Um, that's always such a funny argument. Uh, one thing I would ask your doctor too, Rose, is for some stats. 
some some science. What are you telling me? Back this up with science. For example, they're going to try to put you on a statin. I want you to show me the study that says I should be on that statin. I know Dr. Barry and Chafee and some of these guys, are, they're referencing a study that shows, yeah, you take the statin, you take it for 30 years, and you can't miss one dose, and it'll extend your life by five days. With all of these unintended consequences and side effects. You show me the study that, that says I should do that. They're just all blindly, take this pill, take this pill, take this pill. And those statins, what is it? Do they get some big kickback or something? My goodness, they push those things so hard. In my container here, there are statins that I took for many, many years. Think about that. In my 30s, I was taking statins. Ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. I'm so far behind here on these contents. Let me, let me try to catch up here. I've got more of my own testimonials, but I got so many good ones coming in here through the chat. Let's see what else we got. I just want to make sure I don't miss any. Dr. Barry Finger. Hey, by the way, on the Dr. Barry Finger thing, I had someone comment on my video the other day and they're like, stop doing the Dr. Barry Finger. I'm like, what? Imitation is the best form of flattery. Well, when I interviewed Dr. Barry, the first thing I said to him, when, not in the documentary, but in the YouTube video, I said to him, Dr. Barry, everyone loves Dr. Barry but not everyone. I said, I'm sorry to tell you this, Dr. Barry, but my family, not big fans. They're sick and tired of Carrie watching nonstop Dr. Barry videos. He laughed, by the way. I was joking. He laughed. And they're sick and tired of me because I do the Dr. Barry finger all the time now. I got something to say. And it's driving him nuts. He was cracking up laughing. It was a very funny moment. And then at the end of the video, uh, at the end of our interview with him, uh, let me show you guys this. Some of you might not have seen this. This is my favorite picture in the world. Um, at the end of the video, he said, uh, wait, we got to get one for the girls, for your family. I told him, hey, Dr. Barry, I got the triplets plus one. He's like, we got to get a prop. I tried doing a selfie. Uh, just and He's like, no, we got to do it properly for the girls. And so this is this is what we did. <laughs> I love that picture. He's like, no, 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 put the finger out. We were both laughing about it. So for whoever left me the rude comment last week, and by the way, the rude comments don't bother me. I love them. They help with the YouTube algorithm. And as a carnivore, I don't, nothing, there's nothing anybody could say that could hurt my feelings. Go ahead, try. You guys can leave me a comment right now. You could talk about my family. You could talk about me. There's nothing that could hurt my feelings. But to whoever left me the comment that said, stop doing the Dr. Barry finger, I now have explicit permission from the man himself. And it's on, it's on, I have it on video too. So that's pretty awesome. Carrie, is your wife doing carnivore? No, she's doing keto. She jumped into carnivore. She had a, meat aversion because she was doing vegan vegetarian for five years then she jumped into keto and now she's doing ketovore and she's trying to get back into carnivore but she's still having issues doing meat every time she eats meat she just doesn't have an appetite for it but she's doing very well i'm very proud of her she's doing keto uh ketovore and she's doing very well my daughter's doing keto my wife's doing ketovore i'm doing carnivore emma's doing carnivore uh, my daughter Alyssa, on and off. Lily just jumped back into doing carnivore a couple days ago. She's uh, she's fallen off a couple times, but I think a good majority of my family is eating the proper human diet right now, which is awesome. And they all know about it. They all have it as a tool in their toolbox, a tool that I didn't have in my toolbox as a teenager of their age. GN Sullivan, the carnivore cure, 100%. Love your channel. I watch your 700 plus every week. So inspiring. Yes, shout out Todd, the carnivore cure. He does the 700 plus pound video every week. And it's awesome. A live stream uh, with Limitless Lindy and Michael. Okay, I got to catch up on these. I got to catch up on these. Got to catch up on these. Mandy Gold, uh, hey, Carrie, when are you looking to come to Australia to interview Dr. Chafee? We'd love to catch up. I'm happy to travel over 3,500-kilometer round trip if you have a moment. Oh, man. That is going to be one of the largest expenses of the documentary. And that's the other thing with these donations we're getting. I am the cheapest person you'll ever meet. I'm not going to cheap out on the documentary. It's going to be to the utmost quality. But any way we can um, make our budgets spread out. And so one thing we're doing with Dr. Chafee is he's going to be at KetoCon in Austin. So he's coming stateside. So we're going to be down there. So we're going to film him. We're renting an Airbnb. So we're going to have a whole studio set up for that. 
Um, I may need to film him again and at some point be in Australia, but I'm not sure right now. I'd also love to meet uh, Limitless Lindy out there, but she's going to be down at, at Keto at uh, the KetoCon as well. So I'll get to meet her then in person, which will be awesome. Kevin, see you, see you later. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you, buddy. Okay, I'm almost I'm almost caught up now. I'm I gotta I'm getting fired up here, guys. I'm I'm talking too loud. I'm worried I'm gonna disturb the movie above us. We got it's a big action movie though. They probably won't hear me, but. Okay. 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 Dave Davison, Kerry, watching your content has helped me go carnivore. Lost 30 kg plus definite improvement in mental health plus relationships. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Love to hear it. Dr. Barry, open my eyes to Bill Not is in the building. He's been in the building for a while, but I'm just catching up here. Shout out, Bill. Oh, I love to hear this. Jennifer. Dickman, light, love, limitless. Dr. Barry helped my son so much introducing us to Dr. Palmer's work. Brain energy, brain energy, amazing. And if you haven't read it yet, that book is awesome. Um, my friend, I don't get anything for promoting this book. I don't want anything for promoting this book. I I'm passionate about this book because if I found this when I was in my deepest, darkest depression, the answers I was seeking was in there. Change your diet, change your mind. Dr. Georgia Eat is available now. I was, if you know anyone suffering from mental health issues, uh, Chris Palmer's book, Brain Injury, is incredible. And this book is, I, I absolutely, she put 10 years of work into this book. It is so well done. I can't imagine the amount of effort to do 10 years in a book. All the sources, science, and studies in the book, too, it's incredible. Dr. Chafee is amazing. I agree. Can't wait to film him in person as well. Sorry, guys. I'm just catching up here on these comments. Almost there. Almost there. Wow, we got 473 people. Thank you guys so much for all the comments, the super chats. Love you, Bill, from beautiful Mount Snowden. Sherry, the carnivore mommy, my anxiety and CPTSD is so much better. Hubs and I were just talking about this today. I had a tragedy a couple of weeks ago, and if I wasn't for this way of eating, I wouldn't have been able to handle it. Ah, I love hearing that. Getting caught up on the comments here, guys. Sorry for the radio silence. Almost there. Almost there. I need a, I need, I need Emma or Katie to come here and help me with some of these. I need like a Dr. Hampton is the man. Dr. Sean Baker is the man. Absolutely. Professor Bart K. Yes, Dr. Baker. All right, we're almost there. I got a couple more I got to share with you guys. Julie Bush, Carrie, you inspired my husband and I to do better. Carnivore for two years. Great way of life. Thanks. A lot of happy at $10. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Statins are evil. Hey, you said it, not me, but I, I got to agree with you on that one. Jason Anthony, hey, Kerry, greetings from Germany. Don't worry. They also peddle statins in France, Germany, and UK. It's a worldwide theme. Yeah, there must be some big kickback program or something on those. I could get it if you took them. You're like, oh, this is just incredible results. My dad's been taking them for like 20 years, and he's trying to wean off of them. Now he has the cancer diagnosis, and he has all sorts of side effects from taking them, which is the reason he wanted to get off of them. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully he'll be able to do that. Squeaky Toys, $59, $20 Super Chat. Thank you so much. 65 years old, five months carnivore, down 30 pounds. Amazing. Three bowling balls. No longer type 2 diabetes. Incredible. Nail fungus almost gone on toenails and fingernails. Stronger and healthier. We got this. We got it. That's incredible. Great job. 
Five months. That's awesome. <laughs> Rick said here in Miami, we used another finger. What, what other finger, Rick? I'm confused. Rick's awesome. Michaela, I'm coming to Wisconsin. I want to be interviewed. Hey, hit me up. Homesteadhow at gmail.com. Jason is listening while oil painting, and it's an absolute treat. Thanks, guys. Oh, that sounds like fun right now. Break out some paints. The girls and I, when we went on vacation, we did a little painting project together. That was pretty fun. All right, all right, all right. Almost there, almost there. Sunny C, I'm reading Brain Energy. It's phenomenal. Game changer, life changer. Dr. Georgia Eads' book is 447 pages of meaty content. She's the best. Susan Lydia said, I want us to donate to gift Bill a manicure and pedicure. He deserves it for all that weight loss. Bill, I got you, brother. If you got someone that could come give you manicure, pedicure right now, I bet you there's someone. I got you. That'll be your uh, that'll be your birthday present. But you got to do a YouTube video on it. Get your nails done. Sir Charles and Mr. Winston Beans. I love that. I only clicked on this comment because of the name. Uh, Mr. Winston Beans sounds incredible. Hey, I've been watching your channel off and on for a while now. Started watching Dr. Barry, then Dr. Chafee, a few others. Have been carnivore for almost a year after type 2 diabetes diagnosis. That's awesome. Chris Stern said, didn't cancel my Netflix for the simple fact that your important movie will make it on there. Oh, thank you, Chris. That is the goal. The goal was always Netflix just to try to reach as many people as possible. And that's where the most of the people are. But we have a loftier goal now as first is getting it on the big screen, which sounds crazy. But Angel Studios has just recently had a feature documentary on the big screen all across the world and theaters across the world. That is our ultimate goal. And then the streaming services after that. So it's even bigger than our initial our initial plans. Sir Charles and Mr. Winston Beans, one more time. 65 pound weight loss went from 7.6 to 5.3. Could lose about 20 pounds more, but can't seem to lose anymore. We'll accept the reversal of diabetes and the 65 pounds. That's awesome. Awesome. All right, look. Okay, so... I got to share a couple more of these with you guys quick. If you got any more, I, I think I caught up. I got caught up. If you guys have any more uh, of your own inspiring stories, please share them. Here are some more from me. These are from my YouTube comments. Thank you again for these uh, videos, changing lives, mine being one. I have an inoperable brain tumor and unsure if it's benign as they can't get it to, it to do a biopsy. Long story short, your fasting video and this one, this is one I did about the cancer evolution documentary. Your cancer video and this one uh, is really going to help me turn this around. Thank you, Carrie. I'm following your two friends and pray for them as well. You seem to be a sensitive person like myself, and you're being so resilient doing these interviews as it is hard when you are an empath. I know when I watch, it's hard as it is so sad, but I want to support them. Thank goodness for the carnivore and fasting. That's just such a beautiful comment and hit the nail on the head. Some of those interviews are very, very uh, heart wrenching take a lot to, to do. Um, I, I, I've been getting so many comments on the cancer videos. Huge shout out, Jeff to Prosperous. Blessings on my journey, on a journey to be cancer free. Jeff and I, I never would have done anything with cancer if not for Jeff. I never would have met Professor Thomas Seafried if not for Jeff. We did a cancer round table video with Jeff and Professor Seafried and Ronnie Campbell and Brad and Diane. And it's reached over 500,000 people. I don't care about the numbers. I care about the fact that we're getting countless comments just like that one. I Some of them are sad. Some of them are, I lost my wife to cancer. I wish she would have just had this as an additional tool in her toolbox. We're not telling you how to treat your own cancer. That's each individual person's decision. Um, but just having metabolic therapy and, and eating the proper human diet and fasting as another tool in their toolbox, I've gotten that, that comment so many times. I've also gotten comments that people are like, Thank you for telling me about this. I had no idea this was even a thing. Professor Seafried has been talking about it for 30 years. And sadly, most people don't know about metabolic therapy for cancer. Um, so, I mean, that makes it all worthwhile, those comments. Here's another one. Uh, feeling like a human. 
Now that right there is the statement that exactly what carnivore diet does. Lost over 50 pounds five months in, lost clinical depression, lost anxiety, lost a host of medical issues, and I feel happy. For what I was, that is miracle territory at 67 years old. I know I have entered a new era of my life. Thank you for your videos. I came across them when I could barely hardly walk anymore. And you know, I, oh, I read this one once before and it chokes me up a little bit. I could hardly walk anymore. And you know, I trusted you. And then came along Dr. Barry and voila, here we are. Yes, it was difficult to begin with, but I found the most amazing carnivore community. They're so helpful. Much love to you all. And yes, feeling like a human. I live my life with a smile and meat on my plate. Man, I don't know why that chokes me up so much, but that I trusted you. It's just because I started doing these videos as a fun thing to do. Here's my fun 30-day carnivore video. Then I started getting comments like this, and then it was, whoa, this is kind of important. Then it went from that to like a passion project. Like, well, maybe we can help some more people. Now it's just a responsibility where people say this to me, I trusted you. I put my trust in you. And and I get people that say this too, is they're trusting me with their story. They're giving me their life story, their transformation, and they're trusting me to convey that or be a conduit to share that information with other people. So it's touching. It's kind of also a, a huge responsibility as well. Hey, I'm Anthony. I'm a stage four uh, just cancer patient who failed and quit chemo treatment back in January 2023. Chemo actually made my cancer growth worse and multiplied during the 130 days of treatment. Had surgery 727 to remove one large tumor out of my stomach and lost a third of my stomach. Anyways, to the by the point, the cancer already spread to liver. A little over a month ago, a friend told me about blessings on my journey. Shout out Jeff to Prosperous. I started a carnivore diet as soon as possible. Believe I got to take a script. I think I sent this to Jeff a long time ago. I got to send this one to Jeff. Or maybe Jeff sent this one to me. Uh, I started the carnivore diet ASAP. Believe it or not, I just had a scan done and it showed a 0.2 centimeter shrinkage already in one of my liver tumors. I haven't felt this amazing in years. Let me repeat that. This gentleman has cancer stage four and he just said, I haven't felt this amazing in years. That is so incredible. That is what Jeff, why Jeff is so incredible. Dr. Sean Baker, Dr. Anthony Chaffee and the carnivore diet. The fact that this guy is going through stage four cancer and hasn't felt better in years. Jeff is going through cancer. He does five day fast. He's getting chemo treatments and he feels like he's 20 years old. If that isn't a testament to carnivore, I don't know what is. That isn't a testament to the proper human diet. What else is? And Jeff isn't just saying this. We chased him around with the camera for a week and could barely keep up with the man. He's incredible. He's literally has the energy of a 20 year old. And this gentleman here as well. I haven't felt this amazing in years with stage four cancer. Just incredible. All right. I don't even know what half of these are. Let's see. Carrie, I used to say Dr. Barry saved my life, but now I say Dr. Barry and Carrie Mann saved my life. No more, no more lifetime depression, no more diabetes. 61 and I feel like 30. Thank you, sir. You are a great mensch. That's awesome. Oh, here it is. Brett, who's your carnivore? I told you, Brett. I got you. Uh, this is when I decided to do the five-day fast or the eight-day fast. I can't remember. No, five-day. Uh, five-day fast with Jeff. And uh, immediately, who's your carnivore? Brett said, I'll do it too. Like one minute after I announced it. So that puts a big smile on my face. Shout out, who's your carnivore? Check out his YouTube channel. Incredible. Oh, this one puts a smile on my face. This was when I finally got a hold of Bill. He left that big comment I showed earlier. Then we we, we couldn't connect with each other. And then I did a video dedicated to Bill in the thumbnail. I said, 700 pound Bill from Alaska. If you see this, reach out to me. And this was it. Uh, him reaching out to me. I'm having basal cell carcinoma removed from my chest in six weeks. This, this was her cancer video. This has inspired me to cut out the cookies before then. Thank you for inspiring me. Hey, if that's all that entire video did, if me, that was with Ronnie Campbell and Jeff, if, if we did that entire video and it simply helped this one person understand this, totally worth it, 100%. But there's so many other people that are commenting. Shout out Jeff to Prosperous and Ronnie Campbell that are fielding these calls. A lot of these individuals, 
They just, they're begging. They want to talk to someone else that's been in their shoes that has had cancer. And Ronnie and Jeff have been calling these people, having Zoom calls with these people and helping them when no one else would because their doctor doesn't give them a plan. Their doctor doesn't give them hope. Their doctor tells them you can go do chemo and then here's some cookies for you. Needs We need to change that. My husband has highly aggressive multiple myeloma, which is an incurable blood cancer, has had extensive inner... Uh, has had extensive treatment, including three stem cell transplants with two different unrelated donors. Never reached remission, just stable disease. He went very clean keto in 2018, stopped all chemo 2019. 2020, had a clean PET scan for the first time since 2008. 2022, he had his second clean PET scan. 363 upvotes. That was on the Cancer Evolution one. Incredible. Cancer PET scan was cancer-free. Uh, absolutely incredible. Man, if that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what does. I got pages and pages of these things. Uh, here's one. I am a caregiver of an 87-year-old grandma who has CHF, AFib, sleep apnea, peripheral neuropathy, and has suffered from severe depression. And then she repeats it, severe depression, and then repeats it again, really severe depression and anxiety. I placed her and myself on ketovore diet for the last three days to gradually transition us into carnivore. She hates eating meat, and it's been a struggle to get her to eat any meat for a long time. But let me tell you, I already, in three days, that's incredible. I already see changes in her on this ketovore diet. Her depression has lightened considerably. Her nightly anxiety attacks stopped on the first night. For the first time in eight years, eight years, she's not fighting with me about exercising. Incredible. Let's see. So I'm going to jump back here now and see. We got some other comments. Oh, I still got Mr. Beans up there. All right, but um, back to the comments here. Jeanne Sullivan, thank you. Please let us know when we can vote for an Angel Studios. 100%. We have everything we need now for the prototype torch to put on Angel Studios, but it still has to be edited together. And that, my friend uh, John is doing, uh, who Adam introduced to and found. He's an incredible cinematographer, editor. Uh, he's going to help us edit it all together to perfection. So that's our next step. Another great book that I'm pretty sure took Tina Knight, uh, Nina Teicholtz 10 years to write big fat surprise currently 50 pages into change your diet, change your mind. Awesome. Yeah, that's another good one. She's amazing. You give me the courage and determination to keep this up. I feel better now that I have in more than 20 years. I'm also a vegan to carnivore convert. I'm also a 19-year cancer survivor. Wow, incredible. Well, I'm so glad that I have a small part in this, and I'm so happy for you that you're doing it and you're keeping it up. 19-year cancer survivor. For that reason alone, I mean, everyone has to have their why. That's a big why. Sadly, like my friend Ronnie Campbell, she's cancer-free. It's incredible. She had cancer in her omentum, in her stomach, all over the place. She's cancer-free, but it's still always hanging over her head. Is it going to come back? For that reason, she's sticking with the proper human diet and um, exercising like crazy. And and she's not she's not she's not taking her foot off the gas pedal. And uh, that's a that's a huge why I think for a lot of people, myself included. Uh, I had skin cancer. I lost a lot of family to cancer. It's like uh, again, I believe my odds. I can only speak for myself of getting cancer are drastically reduced because I no longer have that chronic inflammation. And if I was vegan, I would have chronic inflammation because I'd be hungry all the time and I'd end up eating a bunch of processed stuff, I'm sure. Bob, Pop Eater says, I hope the brain fog lifts soon. Jesse aren't back on carnivore down 13 pounds in two weeks, trying to pump the brakes on the cheese, but it's not easy on Wisconsin boy. I hear you. I hear you. Wisconsin boy here as well. Try, try to quit the cheese, though, my friend. You will thank me. Uh, I was able to do it, and I love cheese. When I used to do keto, I'd eat cheese all the time. So many people, Jesse, report to me that they stalled out on carnivore, and almost every single one of them was eating cheese. Almost every single one of them that stopped then says, wow, I stopped the cheese, and the weight just started coming off again. Petra, I love hearing all these stories of healing, amazing successes. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go, Dave Mack. Dave Mack is awesome as well. 
Susan, $5. Thank you so much. Shared the podcast Dr. Seafried did with Shana Hussein today. Oh, thank you so much. I got to check that one out. I didn't see that one. Yes, Sandra. Shout out Dr. Kiltz. It's the documented stories that matter. 100%. So important. Adam Nicholas, 17 months lion carnivore down 190 pounds. 190 pounds. 19. 10 pound bowling balls. Adam is no longer carrying around. That's incredible. 365 to 175. Depression, anxiety, and 20 years of back pain all cured. Inflammation gone and firing on all cylinders. You're a proper human now, Adam. Congratulations. That is incredible. Think about that, my friend. 19 bowling balls you're not carrying around. You probably don't even care about the bowling balls because you don't, you're no longer depressed. You're no longer anxious. You no longer have back pain. You no longer have inflammation. You're, you're starting to realize you had stuff wrong with you. You didn't even realize it was wrong with you because it became your new normal. Moss, what can I expect to change in en energy levels approximately? Uh, maybe leave it in the comments. What do you guys think? It's, it's so hard for me to say that. It's different for everybody. Depends on uh, what you're doing. Depends on how long it takes your body to get into ketosis. Depends on how well you're doing ketosis and if you're 100% carnivore and things like that. Carnivore Nana. Carry on 10 months. CV, carnivore, down about 25 pounds, swelling. I know my blood sugar is down. I started FBM page and tagged you in it. Don't expect you to accept it, uh, but want to spread the word. Carnivore, healthy humanity. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I am. Uh, when it comes to social media, I'm not very, I'm, I'm all over YouTube. But uh, Facebook and Instagram, I'm, I tinker a little bit here or there, but I'm not in there that often. But I'll have to check that one out. Carnivorous dude. I mentioned Dr. Barry every day and carry man in the same sentence. Oh, thank you so much. That is humbling. That is good company to be in for sure. Here we go. Yeah, everyone is different in terms of having more energy. Stick with it and you'll likely see a big uplift in energy. Yes. And one of the things, make sure you're intentional with your fat intake. A lot of people on carnivore don't get enough fat. And I've I've learned the hard way myself. I've done it too. For some reason, I eat a lot of ribeyes and then I get in a kick where I'm like I feel like some sirloin or some chicken or something that's not fatty. And when I get the fat, the energy's up. The mood is great. When I'm not getting the fat, energy's down. The mood's not great. A lot of people uh, don't get enough fat. Brick Allen, Texas, amazing and wonderful at 700 pound bill. Can now call himself 490 something pound bill. Yes. These cancer stories are hard for me. Lost my dad to cancer. I'm so sorry to hear that, Cody. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough thing. You know, when Jeff first approached me, I'm like, I don't even want to go down this road. This is going to be so difficult. But I'm so glad I did because it's these stories that are going to uh, help get the word out. For so many people, The I believe the majority of people diagnosed with cancer today have no idea about metabolic therapy. They have no idea about the work Professor Seafried's done. They have no idea about the incredible, amazing results Jeff DeProsperous and other cancer thrivers are having eating the proper human diet. The only way they're going to know it is if we tell these stories that are uh, hard for a lot of us to hear. Uh, our months in my mom had cancer. I had her convinced sugar was bad, but she loved fat on steaks. I wish I knew this earlier. She would have done better on carnivore in her last years. Uh, it's always so hard. Squeaky Toys 59, my 67-year-old brother has pancreatic cancer and has spread to liver and spine. Prognosis is not good. I'm sorry to hear that, but stay positive. Make a plan. Uh, we have a cancer action plan. If you go to healinghumanity.movie, this is nothing we're selling. This is completely free. Jeff DeProsperous, myself, Professor Seafried, Dr. Tony Hampton, we've got links and resources to all of these folks. Sadly, when most people are diagnosed with cancer, they don't have a plan. And so we tried to create a plan. We tried to show some regimens, some examples. So if you want to share that with your brother, it's uh, at healinghumanity.movie. You click on the cancer section. It'll take you to the cancer action plan. Hey, Carnivorous Dude, new member. Thank you so much. Champion within four to six weeks. Nice. 
Yeah, that's what that, I agree. Britt Gale in Texas, the energy uh, thing is really is different for everyone. I've never felt more energetic, but I do feel better 100% on carnivore. Healing Humanity on every video I post with a tag. Thank you so much. You know, Adam does that too. I'm doing it now. I missed a couple. I I got to get up to speed on some of this stuff. I started, I'm starting to sound like a, a techno, technologically challenged uh, person. I used to be the tech guy. They would come to me and now I'm like, oh, I forgot to do that tag. I forgot to do this. There's a lot going on. With all the fat from ground beef, do you still add some butter? I do. I do. Um, it depends on the, the ratio that you have. Um, but I really enjoy my ground beef finished with some butter and I get it crispy, kind of like a smash burger. I just I prefer the texture better that way. So I do that. If it's if it's like a ton of um fat and it's just swimming in it, then I might pour some out. I know it's a bad thing to do, but if it's too much, I might pour some out, but then I'll add some butter just because I love the taste of butter on there. I like the crispy texture uh more than I like the uh you know when it's kind of mushy. All right, here we go. Stephanie, been carnivore for a little over a month. Still no energy or clear head. I eat eggs cooked in butter and lots of meat. I also drink one packet of keto chow, salt electrics. Anything else I can do? One thing I would suggest, if I was going at this in a, a month and I was struggling, I wasn't sure what to do, I would try lion diet for just three days. I'm not saying commit to it for your whole life. If you've been doing carnivore strictly for 30 days, it's not that hard to do... Uh, lion diet. Sometimes the eggs could be messing you up. There's people have different things and then you're doing a full on elimination diet. Try it for three days and see how you feel. Make sure you're getting enough fat too. Uh, did you say that? I don't know if you said that. Make sure you're getting enough fat too. That's a, a thing a lot of people mess up on. Hey, shout out Adam Carnivore today. Sign up for the Healing Humanity newsletter. Yes. Yes. We're putting some good stuff out on there. We got another one coming up here soon. Um, we'll get some updates some behind the scenes, things like that. Updates on the doc. Question, can you do another what I eat in a day video? Yeah, I should probably do one. Um, it's pretty much the same, but I take a lot of pictures when I have a memorable meal. So I got a pretty good stockpile of what I eat in a day on average. So, Well, I think I hate saying goodbye, man. There's 476 people on here. You guys are crazy. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I got to get upstairs now. It's almost nine o'clock. I got to help Jen clean up. I just heard the crowd depart from the movie tonight. Uh, tomorrow, if you want to join us, we do something a little bit different. We're doing it every Sunday. Now, Jen and I are at 415 Central. We do a world famous Montello Theater live stream. We talk about, there's a little bit of carnivore talk, but we talk about movies. What did you watch recently? What's your favorite movie? We talk about what's going on at the theater and we have some big, exciting news coming out. Shout out, uh, JT. He's, uh, sponsoring a thing where 50 kids are going to get in for free when we play Kung Fu Panda in a couple of weeks. And then Jen and I have some really big news. Uh, we're rolling out a plan for uh, veterans where I'll just give it away. Veterans will never pay for a movie at Montello Theater again, as long as we're running the theater. They come in, they say they're a veteran, and we're going to cover their costs. And we're going to try to do some live streams and some videos to support it. The movie theater, much like Healing Humanity, is a passion project. We're not in it to make any money. We have the lowest prices in the state. We love the movies. We love the community. So, yeah, that's going on tomorrow if anyone wants to join us. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. And tomorrow's Super Bowl Sunday, but, you know, Super Bowl is later in the night. This is going to be at uh, 4.15 tomorrow. World famous Montello Theater live stream. So looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for all of the super chats, all of the comments. I have, I think I have like 50 more stories. So maybe we'll do another one of these again. Maybe I'll do it with some more preparation. But I loved hearing each of your individual stories. So powerful, so amazing. Talk about anecdotes. You have so many of them. Oh, wait, I got one more here. We're going to do this one. We'll end on this. Carnivore Chef Bruno, the life's changing story, 10 pounds. I carry him on carnivore for 47 days now. I was six years lying in bed. A lot did change. Started a YouTube channel. Maybe we can do a live talking about me. I was 243 kilograms one year ago. Yes. Email me. I'd love to share your story. Carnivore Chef Bruno. Check out his YouTube channel. Email me, my friend. Homesteadhow at gmail.com. I will follow up with you and then maybe we can do a video together or catch up. 
All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for that super chat. I really appreciate it. Uh, have a good night. Peace.